This is a demonstration of using the uh, RTE3 to uh, control Reaper over the internet using their protocol. And this is a, an example project I've created called Reaper Control. And it's just basic controls. Uh, this is in the examples folder when you install this. And all you really have to do is convert this to HTML. And there's one setting that you should pick if you're going to use like an iPod or an iPhone is you need to select Embedded. If you're going to control Reaper uh, normally over the internet with a regular browser and a mouse, you, you just leave it. Uh, the default is web page. And uh, we can go ahead and, and do that, let you see what that's like. Let's go ahead and refresh this, make sure that we're, we're live. And as you can see, this is, uh, this is uh, normally how we control Reaper from a browser using a mouse. But if we want to control that from an iDevice in order to, f to get it to format the screen properly and to, uh, to have all the protocols so that you can use the sliders and things of that nature, you need to select Embedded. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is some of the protocol. If you want to change any of this, this is all, these are all objects that you can, uh, you know, you can change the icons. You can delete the uh, images. You can add your own Im images. You can change the colors. And uh, the protocol is very simple. So in the, uh, each object has a, has a script. This is a scripting environment. And each release script right now. That's the only thing that, that has the string for a web conversion. It's a send string and the first parameter is typically the uh, the IP address or the socket. Right now we're, this is going to be running from the Reaper server so we don't need to tell it what socket to communicate on because it's communicating with itself. But the only So the only thing we really need is the string and this is the protocol that Reaper uses. Uh, these characters exactly, the forward slash, underscore, forward slash, and then each command is separated by a forward slash. And we leave, it's actually open-ended so that the, uh, the control, because this is a, a slider control, the value is tagged onto the end of this. And uh, we're telling track one to adjust its volume to whatever this slider value is. This value is calculated in the browser and then tagged onto the end. So you, you don't see that part. But here's here's a fixed string of play. And the protocol is basically you have terminators. The, this is a semicolon. So we have two messages here. Actually, the only thing you need in order to, uh, to get play to, to work is the forward slash under underscore forward slash 1007 semicolon. That's the protocol. So the command is 1007. This is really the, uh, the prefix that you use in every string. And transport, sending transport tagged on to the command actually gets all of the communication happening. Uh, it tells the Reaper web server to send back anything waiting in its queue to communicate. So that's why I, I have the transport command uh, with every command. You don't, you don't actually have to do that. But it tells Reaper to send back any of the highlighting information so that we can get two-way feedback and we can tell what, what state Reaper is in. So that's, I just wanted to show you some of the scripting if you did want to change it. And uh, I will show you uh, some of the other... I mean... Here are some other uh, sliders, dials that you can use. And these, these are totally configurable. And that, that's the purpose of this, this IDE is so you can create any type of interface for doing whatever you want. And I, I just wanted to show you to get you started on how to change some of the things. I'm just kind of, I'm sorry, just moving things around here isn't really helping much. Um, but I, I wanted to show you this is an editor. And it's an editor for any type of interface design. But it does have some specific hooks now for, for Reaper web control. One more thing I'd like to tell you is that when you do a conversion, 
the uh, default folder is called HTML and that folder is actually in the uh, RCS programming installation folder. There's a shortcut in the start menu if you go to the uh, uh, the shortcuts for for installed programs in the RCS programming shortcut there I put in a shortcut for the installation folder it's called and that will take you right to this folder and when you do a web conversion the default folder is just called HTML and uh, for this Reaper web control these are the files that you will need or these are the files created these are the files that uh, you will need for the Reaper uh, here's the here's my Reaper www root folder, and uh, the default files are uh, the index file and the main JS. And I just threw my HTML folder in there, and that's that's really all you have to do. You just need a specific path when you do that. And I don't have an index file. I have a main HTML, and as long as you use that as your main uh, the main URL, or as long as you, as long as you use that in the URL, it will it can find it and everything works fine. So I just wanted to show you uh, where the files go, where they're uh, created, and where they go.